Praise the Lord. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to church today. Hallelujah. Happy Sunday. Wow, we we'll give God the glory for the testimonies that we've received and the calls we have received to the glory of God. We have testimonies like men who, who, who tuned into our radio station and the Lord touched him and you know, something came out of him. A man came out of him. That was a man being set free from every oppression of the enemy. Hallelujah. And I pray for you as you listen to the word of God, you are going to be blessed. You're going to be delivered in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Today, we're going to be looking at altars. And the topic says, raise the, Lord, the, the altar of the Lord. Raise the altar of the Lord. Hallelujah. You know, life is all about altar. What do I mean by that? You are a person, you are an altar. You know, being a child of God, that means you have become an altar for the Lord to manifest. The Lord lives in you. And what is the meaning of altar? Let's first understand what is the meaning of altar. Altar is simply a landing, a platform that allows spiritual activities. Or let's say this way, altar is a contact point between this earthly realm and the spiritual realm. So for every altar, you as a, as a person, as, as an altar, simply means because you have the Holy Ghost in you, you are moving altar. That means that the Lord can walk His wonders through you. You see that? Because you are anywhere you are found, you are the solution in, you know, to any problem that is that area. Hallelujah. So you must understand that you know, people set up altars. And the reason for setting up those altars is that they can allow what? You know, um, spiritual activities between the physical realm and the God they are serving. Glory be to God. And today we're going to be looking at altar. The, Bible, the, the, the topic says what? Raise the Lord's altar. Raise the altar of the Lord. That means there will be any altar that is contrary to the, the, the altar of the Lord. Today we're going to be what? Put down those altars and raise the altar of the Lord. Glory be to God. We must understand that one of the reasons for an altar is to allow the aim the agenda of that spiritual realm that you are contacting to manifest on this earthly realm. So when a man is given to the altar of the darkness, that means darkness can manifest in that area. But if you are given to the altar of light, that which is the altar of God, that means what light can manifest. Glory be to God. That's why, that's why today we're going to be looking at the topic, um, the, the, the scripture, Judges chapter 6, verse 25 to 27. Judges 6, 25 to 27. And it says, That night the Lord said to him, this Gideon, the Lord said to him, Take your father's bull, the second bull, seven years old, and pull down the altar of Baal, the altar of Baal, that belongs to your father, and call down the sacred pole that is beside it, and build an altar to the Lord your God on top of the stronghold here, in proper order. Then take the second bull and offer it as a burnt offering with the wood of a sacred pole. With the wood of the sacred of the, of the sacred pool, pool that you shall cut down. So Gideon took ten of his servants and did as the Lord had told him. Hallelujah. So you can see that the Lord was asking Gideon here to put down the altar of his own father. Why? Through this altar they worship Ba. And Ba was known to be what? Ba, if you look at the dictionary meaning of Ba, Ba means Lord. You know, and the, the, the Ba is being applied to same so many deities out there. And then also human rulers who are, you know, having their, their, their agenda from the pit of hell, from the, from the realm of darkness. So when the Lord told um, Gideon to put down the altar of Ba and what build up the, an altar for him. He says, build an altar to the Lord your God on top of the stronghold here. So the same place on top of the stronghold here. He says what? Build an altar of the Lord. Stronghold. Stronghold. That means this altar has, you know, this altar is was what, what everyone in that vicinity had known, you know, to worship. To worship that's the way they went to worship. You know, that's a stronghold. So that if there be any stronghold in your life, know that these things are manifesting because of an altar speaking. But today we are pulling down every altar of bar. Hallelujah. Every altar of bar. Every altar of darkness will be pulled down. And one of the raising God's altar in that area of your life, in the name of Jesus. That tells us that if there be any altar in the place of Whatever, whatever you're dealing with, whatever you're dealing with, because you look at the meaning of God, it says, Lord, is there anything that's lording over you outside the Lord Jesus Christ? There's anything, any stronghold that is holding you back from serving the Lord the way you should serve him. Today, we're going to be pulling down those altars by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. Those altars that have held you from moving forward, we will pull them down and we raise the altar of the Lord in the name of Jesus. Are, are you someone that, you know, you are, you are involved, with, you know, you go back to your vomit. You are born again, but you are still involved in things that you know that these are not the right things to do. 
That is an altar. That's an altar working against you. That means what? That thing alone, it might be, it might be, it might be adultery. Adultery self. That means adultery self allows the the spiritual things of the enemy to manifest in your physical in your physical realm. When a man has committed adultery, it's not just about the sin. He has a, he has opened door for for kingdom of darkness to manifest. You see that? But today we're going to shut that door in the name of Jesus. We're going to put on that altar. That if you are involved before an adultery and that, that was a habit for you, that altar is going to be pulled down. That's why, see, devil knows how to, you know, send his demons into people and cause them to walk in a manner that ought not to be so. You see, people are addicted to drugs. They are into drug taking. There are people addicted to injections. All these things are, are ways enemy was inflict these ones with, you know, inflict them in their bodies. And that means what when you when you put on that altar of, of, of taking drugs of, of drug addiction, what happens now? The altar of life, which is the altar of the Lord God, 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 Lord God Almighty, can now, now be what raise that person's life. Now you'll be built on the word of God. That means no more would that drug own you. Because when you say Lord, Lord means what owner. So a man that is currently under the influence of the altar of drug of drug is what is currently what being owned by drug addiction. But when you put on such kind of altar, just the way the Lord told Gideon to put on the altar of his father's house. It might even be the altar in your father's house. Some people say things like I'm a Christian, but when they ask for you know for sacrifice, you know, from from my from, from my village, I just send them money. You are still servicing that altar by sending that money. And I tell you the truth, don't think that because you have confessed just as a Lord and Savior and you're just servicing an altar, you know, by sending them money to just do whatever they say they want to do, that you are set free from that. No, that altar will be fighting you because when you do such a thing, that means what you have given, you are, you are also declaring that that altar is your Lord. And now when he says that altar is your Lord, that means the altar has every power to manipulate your life, manipulate the thing that God has given you. That means some people are going through near success syndrome, some are going through affliction, some are going through broken marriages because they have, uh, that they, they, there's an altar fighting them. But I pray for you that the Lord will open your eyes to every hidden altar around you, to every altar that's been fighting you, to every opening that they, that they, they have been they have kept around you, knowingly and unknowingly, and then the Lord will, open, and then the Lord will give you, the, the, by his anointing, he will break that altar in the name of Jesus. Just the way the Lord has instructed Gideon to break the altar of the Father's house. You're going to be breaking this anointing by the, by the power, by this, this, these altars, by the anointing of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. Just the way the Bible talks about that, by the, um, that the yoke is broken by what? By the anointing. The anointing of the Lord upon you, the anointing of the Holy Spirit of God upon you, will break these altars. Hallelujah. For the Lord will teach you by his spirit, open your eyes to see the influences, what the, this enemy has done to you through these altars that you have, been, you, have, you have allowed in your life. Maybe you're having a pastor and God is taking you far. But like this thing you're dealing with, that's not, that's not been hindering you. Remember like the Bible calls this certain word, the accuser of the brethren. What he does best is to accuse God's children before the Lord God and deny them of their blessings. So when you can shut these doors, when you can put on these altars, these altars have been fighting you. God has told you to, you know, get into prayer. You are meant to be praying more. But somehow, the altar of laziness has been holding you back. And that has been denying of your blessings. It might even be that, yes, the Lord has called you to go into a fasting period. But the altar of food, you are, you are so much into food. That means that food owns you. You have made food Lord over your life. That you have not even denied yourself time to you know, worship the Lord. There are times we put away things about, about this earthly realm. Just focus on the spiritual things. Glory be to God. So today we're going to put on every altar that is fighting you. And God is going to open your eyes and strengthen you. There will be altars in your father's house. You know, altars that you know around you. The Lord will open your eyes and give you the strength and wisdom to put on those altars in the name of Jesus. Just the way the Lord has given Samuel the wisdom to know how to go and anoint David whilst, Samuel, um, whilst Saul was still king. But he's given the wisdom of how to go to anoint David. God will give you the wisdom to know how to pull down the altar that, 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 is, that is fighting against your destiny. That altar that is fighting people's destiny. That is why it's beautiful for you as a child of God to raise an altar in your house. I love when I hear people say things like, Oh, I said there's cell meeting in my house. I have allowed brethren to gather in my house. Have a time of worship in God's presence. That means what? You have setting up God's altar in your house. That's the advantage of you, child of God, to allow, you know, a, a meeting of God's children, brethren in your house. When the brethren, of, when, when God's children come in your house and hold such, such kind of um, such services in form of cell meeting, in form of um, fellowship, um, um, fellowship, you know, um, fellowship in any way, there are many ways, there, there, there are names to it. You know, what you are doing, you have, you have allowed God's order to be built in your house. You have, you have raised God's order in your house. And by the reason of that gathering, those um, every 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 
agenda from the pit of hell is terminated in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So I bring you the good news that today you're going to be set free from every altar that's been fighting against your destiny. Yes, and Lord will give you the understanding to separate yourself from any area you have made covenant with. Any other I have made covenant with. Just the way the Bible shows it to us here. In the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 7 and 14. 2 Corinthians 6, 14 says, Don't continue to team up with unbelievers in mismatched alliance. For what partnership is there with righteousness and rebellion? Who could mingle light with darkness? You can't mingle light with darkness. So I pray for you that every door of darkness in your life, or through an individual, or through a sinner that you have, been, you have, you have, you have, you have, you know, you have, you have mingled with, the Lord will help you out of those places, out of those people. Some of, some of you maybe, um, you are, you are, there's a place love to go to. In your mind, you're like, oh, I only go there and take one bottle of drink, and then, or I only go there and take water and then come back. No. The doors of your eyes have opened, you know, the, the, what, what, what you allow your eyes to see might be what has been influencing you, and that's the covenant you have made with, with, that, with that environment of darkness. And that, that means what? You've allowed yourself to be what? Equally yoked with unbelievers. May the Lord help you out of that in the name of Jesus. It might be secret taking. And then you're like, oh, I don't take secrets anymore. But at least your friend that takes you somewhere just to go and sit out with them. And then just talk about business. Somehow he brings out cigarettes. And then you are not, you're not drawn to take a, a, you know, a sip of that cigarette. But let me know it's already back to that habit that you have topped. The Lord will help you that that altar of cigarette taking will be caught down in your life. And you will raise the altar of the Lord. That when they see you next time, you'll be a man that will speak the word of God. And break every yoke of, of, of addiction of cigarette taking in your life in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I remain opposed to Gabriel Chukebuka Okafo. Always an excitement to be here with us, and I pray for you that if there are any other that be fighting you, any every other from your father's house, from your mother's house, any other, any any other that is speaking against you, and then the doors have opened, they will all be shut now in the name of Jesus. I declare deliverance from you, for you in the name of Jesus. I cut, I I cut and destroy that covenant you have made with the kingdom of darkness, knowingly and unknowingly. Some of you may be through a sexual intercourse. You've had with somebody in time past. You've entered, entered into a covenant with that person because sex is a covenant. Today, you are breaking loose in the name of Jesus. You are breaking loose in the name of Jesus. That which the name I've used against you, I declare restoration for you. Your glory is restored to you right now by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And I declare for you that the heart of the Lord will speak for you, that you'll be a man that will indeed be yourself in the most holy faith. You'll be yourself in the Holy Ghost. For the Lord has given us his spirit that will cause us to what? Walk as his own altars on this earth. Hallelujah. And remain Apostle Gabriel Chukwebuka Okafor. You want to contact us? We are here for you. Glory be to God. We'll pick your call. We are here to pray with you, to, you know, in agreement and then bring that change that you desire in your life. Go ahead and call this number 081-055-44424. I'll take the number again. 081-055- 44424. Glory be to God. And I, and if you are listening to us, you're not yet born again. Let's get you born again. Let's get you born again. That's the first way to be delivered. You need first of all to come to the place of the kingdom of light. So that from that realm of kingdom of light, you cannot fight every agenda from the pit of hell. You cannot fight every addiction. By you coming in Christ, now you cannot fight every altar that you've been involved with before in time past. Hallelujah. By the power and the anointing of the Holy Ghost upon your life, you cannot break every altar that, that, that you have not attached with in, in, in time past. Now let's get you born again by taking this confession. Just go ahead and confess Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior by saying these words with me. Say, dear Lord Jesus, I accept you this day as my personal Lord and Savior. Thank you for the price you paid for my sins. Thank you for your blood that you shed for me. Lord, my sins are forgiven. I'm a child of God. I receive the Spirit of the Lord in me. Precious Holy Spirit of God, you are welcome into my life. You are my teacher. Thank you, Father, for saving my soul. In your son Jesus Christ, I'm born again. I'm a child of God. In Jesus' name, 
Amen. Congratulations, brothers and sisters. Yes, that prayer was really powerful. Yes, you have confessed the Lord as Lord and Savior. By that confession, the altar of the kingdom of darkness is broken over you in the name of Jesus. You have raised the altar of light in your life now. The altar of, of, of glory in your life now. No more you're going to walk in shame. The, the, altar, the shame that you're used to experience before is cut off from you now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Glory is come in the name of Jesus. And I set you free from every oppression of the enemy in your health. I declare you healed now in the name of Jesus. As any place you feel pain in your body, go ahead and lay, lay, uh, place your hand on, upon it right now. Yes, we have testimonies of people that have said yes as I listened to the word of God on the radio station. I got healed. Now you receive your own healing in the name of Jesus. Let that affliction be cast out from you and by the power of the Holy Ghost. I declare that devil that, that I've been tormenting you out in the name of Jesus. You are set free now. You are set free now from the hell of your head to the soles of your feet. I declare that that which was stolen from you be restored now. Yes, let that, that dead part of your body be made back to life now in the name of Jesus. Let cleansing take place in your blood. I declare that excess is turned to a, a. In the name of my Lord Jesus Christ, you are delivered. You are delivered. Jesus has healed you, and you are indeed a, vict a victor and not a victim anymore in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. I see men come out from that wish here. I see men rejoicing everywhere. I see tumors have been disappeared from someone's body right now. I see pain being gone from someone's leg right now. Yes, it is gone in the name of Jesus. I've never returned again. I see heart problem being reversed right now in the name of Jesus. Some of you, when you sleep this night, by tomorrow morning, that which worried you today worries you no more. For God is going to have a divine operation upon you. I see the angels of the Lord being dispatched for someone right now. Wisdom is given to you for financial prosperity. Yes, the Lord is healing in the area of your finances. I see you being healed in the area of your finances. The Lord has dispatched an angel for you. You will testify in Jesus' name. I remain Apostle Gabriel Chukwe Buka And uh, you want to call us? Go ahead and call this number 081 055 44424. 2-4. Until next time, same, same station, same time. God bless you. We love you. Jesus loves you. Hallelujah.